Hello everyone, uh, this is a lesson on data handling, but particularly we're going to look at one kind of a graph, which is the pie chart. So I'm going to do this lesson with a previous paper. Okay, before we do that, let's look at this, a pie chart, like the word said pie, usually the pie is around, they, they, they took the name from there. The pie chart, it's 100%, and then they'll cut the pie, the pie chart, according to how much each section weighs. So you'll see when we look at this example. We want to look at the example from a previous paper. Let's do that. Now in an exam, it's very important to read and understand what is the chart about. So this one, they say the pie chart below shows the total recycling and composition of material for 2015. Total recycling and composition by types of material for 2015. 19,16 million tons. So this whole chart here, it's 19,16 million tons. Okay. Now, when you look at this chart, they are telling you that plastics is 3,4. Material, 9%. Glass, 3.3. So they've given you the value of each one. But there's a specific one. Others. It means others that are not part of these ones, they've done another chart for them on the side. Others, it's 11.2%. Now, of the 11.2%, what is the others? It's rubber and leather, it's textile, printer, waste, cartridges, and food. So now they've given you percentage for this total chart will give you the 11%. Let's look at the first question. They say, study the pie chart above and answer the questions that follows. 5.1.1, it says, write down one possible data collection method that was used to gather the above data. This is not a mathematical question that you need to calculate. You just need to know how do we collect data? How do you think they got this information, then they want just one. They would have done a survey and asking people how much waste do you, weigh or do, you do. They could have done a questionnaire, so you can write any of those. Let's write them down. Okay, 5.1.2, it says calculate the percentage allocate for, allocated for yard trimming and it's three marks. So when you look at our chart, every portion has a percentage except for yard trimming so you remember i told you that the whole chart is 100 percent so if the whole chart is 100 percent if i can minus these percentages from the 100 percent i'll get the remaining one okay let's do that right when you write your answers you need to tell the marker what you are writing don't just start calculating without telling us so this question is asking us the percentage for yard trimming so i've written percentage for yard trimming how am i going to calculate that is the 100 percent for the whole chart minus all the others when I add them. So I'm going to say minus and then I open bracket and then I'll add every one of them. So I have 49.7% plus 3.3% plus 9% plus 3.4%. Now, if I add all of these and then minus on 100%, I'll get the percentage for yard trimming. When you calculate this, don't put the percentage sign in your calculator. When you put the percentage sign, it will convert it and divide by 100. Then your answer will be in a decimal. It is not wrong. You just need to know that you need to multiply it back to with a 100 to make it a decimal, to make it a, a percentage like that. So to avoid that, don't, don't punch in the percentage in your calculator. Just punch in the numbers. So the first thing that you're going to do, we're going to start, you remember put mass. We're going to start with a bracket first. Add everything that is inside the bracket. So when you add them all up, 49 plus 3.3 3 plus 9 plus 3.4, we get 76,6%. Then 100 minus 76,6, then we'll get 23,4%. So it means the total percentage for yard trimming in this pie chart is 23,4%. Okay. The third question, determine the percentage allocation for textile. Now, textiles, 
is in this small anana pie chart. You remember this small anana pie chart is the others. It is not 100%. It is 11.2%. So they're asking us, it's 5.1.3. They're asking us for the textile, percentage for the textile. You need to write that. So is it class 2? The total from the others is 11.2%. Percent minus and then open bracket. Then I add everything that's around it. It's 1.6 percent plus 1.7 percent plus 2.9 percent plus 2.3 percent. I, I need to start with the bracket first according to both mass. Then let's get our calculator and add everything up. And then when we add them up, we get. 8.5 percent then 11.2 percent minus 8.5 percent we get 2.7 percent so textile is 2.7 percent of the 11 percent the 5.1.4 says calculate in tons the total amount of plastic recycle in 2015 it's 2015 um plastic now when you look at our pie chart plastic is 3.4 percent so percent is over 100 so it's 3.4 divided by 100 but what is the total of tons the total of tons is 91.6 million so we need to solve this thing first the 91.6 million and 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 remove the, the weight million and have everything as a number that's the that's one way you can do that so how do we do that we say 91.16 million is one and six zeros we multiply this number with a one and six zeros one two three four five six so then you'll have the 91.6 million as as a number okay right let's let's go two and two out right when we multiply the 91.16 by million we get 91 million 106 160 thousand right this is the 91.6 million this is the you can write it like that then we multiply with plastic is 3.4 percent so it's 3.4 percent is divided by 100 so when you do that calculate that so plastic is three three million it's three million and ninety nine thousand four hundred and forty. This is how much tons of plastic will be collected in two thousand and fifteen. Question five point one point five. Give one possible example of a product that could be recycled under the material metals category. Okay, here they are asking you general knowledge. They say when we recycle metal. What exactly product would it have been uh, recycling? So you can you can have cans. You can think of any anything that is metal. You can have pipes that are metals. They said one. So when when you do, you can have car parts. The old cars being being household appliances that are being done in metal. So anything that that was metal, it could be recycled. So they said one. You could have any of the metal original products. Let's go to the next question. 5.1.6 state another type of graph that could be used to represent the data above okay for 5.1.6 when you you use a stacked graph bar graph when you use a bar graph it will not show you the hundred percent that is used in a pie chart with a stacked bar graph you can see that plastic will have a smaller portion and paper and paper cupboards will have a bigger when you look at that stacked bar graph you can also see the same things that we are, we are seeing in the pie chart so the correct answer it could be stacked by graph now 5.1.7 says determine as a decimal so they're telling you that your not your answer must be in a decimal form the probability of a randomly selected selecting a material in the other category that is not textile okay so it means we're going to look at the other category and take everything else except for textile okay let's do that okay probability textile you need to remember probability you remember when you calculated probability probability is the event that you want the, the, the desired event divided by the total outcomes that have been 
So in this question, the outcome that we want, the desired outcome, it's not textile. So you go to your chart, you write everything, you add everything except for textile. So you have 1.7% plus 2.9% for mood plus 2.3% plus 1.6%. Then divide, divide it by what is the total of this other? It's 11.2%. Then you divide it. When you divide everything, you will find that you get 85, 8.5 divided by 11.2. This is the correct answer, but it's not the correct answer according to the question. They said our answer must be in decimal. So you need to write your answer in decimal. So that in decimal is 0, 0.758925. Then we'll get you full marks for writing it in decimal. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching.